everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Um, if you enjoy lifestyle videos, uh, vlogs, planner videos, anything about home decor, anything like that, um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I plan on revamping this, this channel completely and um, hopefully shifting everything away from my last channel. My last channel was a lot of plan with me's and I just wasn't completely 100% happy with only doing plan with me's all the time. So um, if you're new to this channel, um, stick around and check out what we've got in store um, for lifestyle videos, home decor, and planner stuff still. Um, maybe some book stuff, um, and just kind of revamping this whole channel and moving away from my old one. So say goodbye to that old channel of mine. Um, for this video, if you haven't told, um, couldn't tell by the intro or the title, the if you couldn't tell by the title, this is going to be my all time favorites um, for basically the last, I don't know, few years. Um, so I'm gonna go through some of the, my favorite things in the world um, that I absolutely love. So um, I've got three categories to take you through, so let's get started. First in planners and crafts, um, is the Leuchtturm 1917 um, dot journal in emerald and this is the one that I am currently using. I even have my notes in here right now for this video. Um, I have a little uh, vellum sticker that my husband and I got when we were in Hawaii and I use this as my dot journal. So I've got all of my lists in here. I we I planned our closet in here. Um, I mostly use this as like a planning thing. I plan some of my uh, my YouTube and videos and things like that. I mainly use this for work. Um, so, but I love this. I mean, the pen it doesn't fade through too much. You can't a little, maybe a little bit with some of my pens because I use gel pens. Um, but it's beautiful paper. I love the hard back of it so it's sturdy. You can throw this in your purse. You can do whatever. Um, and I just love this. If you've seen anything on the bullet journal community, you've seen that everybody has this. I mean, this is probably one of the favorites in the notebook bullet journal world, but yeah, I just, I, I love it as well. And it's, it just holds up. Usually hardbound um, notebooks for me sometimes just aren't exactly what I'm looking for and the hardbound, the hardback tends to get destroyed a little bit because I do bang it up and throw it and not really throw it, I'm not throwing it around, but you know what I mean, it gets banged up and this one holds up really well. So that's one of the reasons why I love it. You can sit and um, write in on the couch or in bed or something like that. So that's one of the reasons why I love this. Um, so yeah. Next up are, is my favorite pen that I have been using probably for the last three years. Pilot Juice Pen in 0 0.38 Ultra Fine Point. I love Ultra Fine because I like to be able to write really small in my planner um, if there's not enough room. Sometimes um, when I'm writing in my Erin Condren, um, so I absolutely love this. It writes really well on glossy stickers, on premium matte. Um, the next thing on my list that I have been absolutely loving is the Foxy Fix notebooks. And these are leather bound traveler's notebooks um, by um, a company called Foxy Fix, foxyfix.com. And I absolutely love the feel of these, the leather. This is, this was my first one. I have another one that I have ordered and it's gonna be in the B6 size. This is just the standard um, traveler's notebook size. So you get just the standard size traveler's notebooks um, that will fit in here. 
This I like to have for notes or for when I'm traveling and going um, anywhere for work because it looks a little bit more professional than carrying around this bulky little Erin Condren planner. Um, fits really nicely into my purse um, and I don't, I don't fit too much in there because if it's banging around in my purse, I like it to not get all messed up. Um, but yeah. So in here, I just have some um, new inserts that I actually just got from Michaels um, that are pretty cool, and a couple Yellow Paper House inserts, and yeah, that's that's about it in here. I'm really excited about getting the basic size because I am planning on transitioning away from the Erin Condren just because I feel like this leather traveler's notebook makes it feel more luxurious and since I am such a huge planner girl um, I wanted to have something that felt more luxurious than the Erin Condren so I can't wait for that one to come but these are freaking amazing I mean if you're looking for anything in a traveler's notebook that kind of looks prof professional I think this was the Rowena Rowena uh, leather um, and it's really, really great quality leather. Um, it is getting a bunch of scratches and scuffs and things all over it, but I feel like with this leather, it just gives it more character. And um, Foxy Fix, you can also get your name or you can get a little symbol here. I just got my name embossed on here. And then the Foxy Fix, this was from 2016. This is actually pretty old. So it just has um, the Foxy Fix logo and stuff on there. FN 2016 edition, and then Foxy Fix on the back. Another all-time favorite of mine um, is Etsy stickers. And if you have not seen what people have done with Etsy stickers online or visited my shop, The Sticky Fox, um, you need to go and check them out. They, I don't know what it is, but for me specifically, in my opinion, these are just ways that you can make planning and getting your life together so much more beautiful and fun and just exciting exciting to plan exciting to put something down that you have to do and that's one of the reasons why i love planning because my to-do list is ever growing and constantly just out of control especially for work um so etsy stickers are just my outlet for planning and getting decorative in there. Um, I keep my small XC sticker um, sheets in a little, what is this, Happy Planner? It's one of the mini size Happy Planners. I took out the inserts and then I actually used cardstock and then I stuck in the stickers in there. I've got a few of my stickers in the front. Um, then I've organized them at the top with like Pumpkin Paper Co. And I'll go through this probably in another video to show you my sticker stash and how I keep those organized. I also keep my kits organized in a binder system like this. Um, and so I've got just some whole kits in there. Um, and again, I'll go through if you're interested in that, I'll go through all of my sticker stash in another video. One of the real crafty things that um, I don't share too much on YouTube, but mainly I'll show some pictures on my blog, is my Project Life um, album. And I don't do this in the sense of most Project Life people where they document day-to-day -day things. I like to document more holidays and big events and traveling and things like that. I do want to get into more of that day-to-day -day, um, documenting, but right now I'm just, I'm not there yet. But I absolutely love this system. If you are not familiar with um, Project Life, I will leave a link below. You need to go and check that out. Um, it is a system by Becky Higgins. Um, here's one of my favorite spreads from when we went to go and visit Hogwarts. Ooh. So 
yeah, I absolutely love this album. I cherish this. Um, this one is getting pretty dang full, so I actually need to start a new one. Um, but yeah, this is actually probably three years. I don't, like I said, I don't do it very often, but it's so much easier to scrapbook like this and, and save your memories and journal and save little tidbits of information that you want to remember from your trips or from the holidays or anything like that. Um, they have journaling cards and it's just really easy to slip those in there with some writing and, and you can embellish them out as much as you want. Um, I had a few um, playing, not playing with me, kind of scrapbook with me videos on my last channel. Um, if you're interested in those, let me know down below and I can bring those back onto this channel. Speaking of the project life, I one of the reasons why it's just really so hard for me to scrapbook or do any of that is I'm so lazy when it comes to printing pictures. So my husband got me the Canon Selfie. This is a CP910, um, which is, um, you can connect via Wi-Fi from your phone. Um, I use this to print from home and this is just a lifesaver. I was buying stickers from companies like Shutterfly and Snapfish and stuff like that, which were all great and fine, but once I ordered them, I wasn't in the mood to scrapbook them anymore. And then I just had giant piles of pictures that I did nothing with. Whereas this kind of instant gratification, print them right then and there, boom, done. Start scrapbooking right away. So if, I don't think they make this, this one is discontinued. This is an older version, but they do have a newer version and I will link that down below. First up in beauty and self-care, um, I just have a couple things in here. Some things that I always come back to and have not changed up for the past couple years. First up is Mario Badescu, the drying lotion, and this is the 50th anniversary bottle. Basically, it's just some pink powder on the bottom and then this clear liquid on the top and what you do is you take a q-tip and you dip it down into the pink stuff or pink powder bring it up and you put these on your spots so your acne spots or blemishes or anything like that and leave this on overnight and literally in the morning your whiteheads acne everything is gone like it's it's a miracle in this tiny little clear bottle um, this is the second one I've bought the first one lasted quite a while next up is something for all everybody that has long hair and it is this tangled teaser um, I got this from my stepmom three two and a half years ago and oh my goodness this is amazing, especially on wet hair or long hair if you get knots. Um, in the wintertime, I always get knots in the back um, of my head from coats and just everything kind of scrunching up my hair in the back. So this has been a lifesaver for that. It just basically glides through your hair and if you have tangles, it doesn't hurt. Great, probably if you have kids. I don't know, I don't have kids, so. Um, but yeah, if you don't have this and you have long hair, you need this right now. Um, last but not least, I use quite a few hand creams. Um, I'm always testing out new ones, but one of the ones that I've bought over and over and over again is Zoella's Wonder Hand. And this is probably my third bottle, I want to say. Um, I just love this. It smells very feminine. Um, it's moisturizing. I usually only have to put this on like once a day. Um, but yeah, especially in the winter time, this is amazing. I have quite a few things in lifestyle and home. Um, these are things that I am constantly using day to day. And the first up is my Yeti 30 ounce tumbler with the lid and straw. In fact, I've still got water in here right now. This thing is amazing. 
I've bought other brands before for my husband um, that are these stainless steel tumblers that claim to keep your liquids cold or hot or whatever for an extended period of time. I have left water, no ice, in here overnight and it's still ice cold in the morning when I taste it. When you go to bed, you always take a, a bottle of water or something like that, right? Well, this stays cold the whole night. If you leave it in your car, I've had like the heat blasting on it because my cup holders are right in front of the um, vents and this thing stays completely cold. Hot days, I mean, this is gonna be a life saver, saver in the summertime. It's amazing, it's worth the money. I, I was a skeptic at first, but I am now a strong believer that Yeti, Yeti knows what they're doing. The next item on my list is something that my husband and I have been enjoying for the past few years as well, is essential oils, but this essential oil diffuser is what's on my list, and it has a remote. But... And yes, that is Paul Rudd, a signed picture of Paul Rudd on my wall. So, that happened. I love that thing. That essential oil diffuser is what I keep by my desk. Um, and it all, it doesn't have one, any of those multicolored changing things or anything like that, but it does have a warm glow and I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous and it is definitely just something that makes you more excited to be sitting at your desk all day like I do, because I do work from home um, for a tech company, so sitting at my desk all day long can be a little bit draining. <laughs> and that picks me up, so. And that thing is called the Adoga Aromatherapy uh, Essential Oil Diffuser. Something else that I've been loving are our shutters. Um, and our shutters are from blinds.com. I never thought that we would have been able to afford something like shutters, plantation shutters in our home, um, anything like that. And when we moved into this new house, I didn't want to just put those drawstring blinds. I really didn't like them in our old house. They were really difficult to clean. Um, we got had just like stock versions that we had picked up from Home Depot. So there's like two inches worth of extra blinds or whatever that were always at the bottom of the window. And I just, I didn't, didn't enjoy them. Our shutters are freaking amazing. Um, I waited for sales. If you're interested in shutters, they are still pretty expensive, but wait for the sales and install them yourself. There are videos online on how to install these shutters and they are super easy to do. Trust me, my husband did them. If you don't have all the tools, rent them from Home Depot. It's still gonna be cheaper than hiring somebody to install them for you. Um, it's gonna be cheaper than buying them from a window and blind company that's probably, uh, I mean, it's just, they're amazing. So if you're looking for a really cost-effective way to put uh, window coverings up but you don't wanna use the blinds and you kinda wanna go a little more upscale and easy to clean, um, I really suggest these plantation shutters. Otherwise, there's a bunch of other things on blinds.com, not sponsored, um, but yeah, that's where I went to with our new build home. One thing that my husband and I both love is Amazon Prime Video. Again, not sponsored, but if you click the link below, it will give me a percentage. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Amazon Prime Video is freaking amazing. I mean, by the way, if you haven't watched Man in the High Tower, you need to go and watch that now. Only available on Amazon Prime Video. Um, we buy all of our videos now and rent on Amazon Prime Video. Since Blockbuster has gone away, that's basically our new Blockbuster. Some of my favorites lately have been finding old 80s movies and um, watching them on there because not every movie is on Netflix and um, sometimes you want to see something that you can't really find and you don't want to buy the DVD or something like that. So just rent it on Amazon video. It's so amazing. Last but not least, 
is a book that is also a movie. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite books, and it is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And the movie is also out. If you have not read this book, you need to read the book. The movie is nothing like the book. I mean, the premise is the same. The plot line is the same. But there are key details that are very different in the book versus the movie. Um, both are amazing. I, my husband and I saw the movie when it came out and it was awesome. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite movies. But this is one of the books that I will read over and over again. There's very few books that I do that with. Harry Potter and this. I am rereading this right now too. Um, this is just, if you love 80s, if you love 80s movies, if you love 80s music, if you love video games, if you love classic video games, you're gonna love this. Um, I absolutely love his writing. I've read his second book too, Armada, which also pretty good, but I think this one tops the cake with as being the best of the books that he has written. Um, so yeah, if you have not read this, you need to check this out now. And also go see the movie because that was pretty freaking amazing too. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Again, lifestyle, planner videos, um, home decor. I'll take you along with our journey of doing a bunch of home renovation projects. Um, even though we did a new build, we still have a lot of projects that we wanna tackle. So trust me, we're not done with this house yet. So yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye.